There we go, fellas. Yukon rot. There's the mold. I'm not showing you the other side because it looks like shit. But that's my mold. I gotta need to wipe it down. Some of the stuff, the uh, really stuff is still stuck to it. Need to wipe it down with some water. Get that off. But there's some little imperfections in it. But I'm gonna be doing a lot of body work getting it molded into my hood anyway. But I just trimmed off all my edges and yeah and gas was glass you tried calling me and my phone is retarded um, I'll try calling you back maybe Sunday maybe I don't know I don't want to bother you on a weekend but I've been working and every time I thought about taking my camera I forgot to take it in the morning I'll try better this week um, I'm not gonna, I only got two layers of fiberglass on here. And you can see right there, it's not pulling away. It's just where I had issues. And I mean, this thing is the equivalent of a heavy duty paint pan, you know, roller pan for painting a house. I mean, it's pretty flimsy, but instead of wasting more fiberglass and resin, I think I'm gonna flip it over and uh, I don't know how well it's gonna work. I just need to get one part out of it for sure for my car, but I might lay some expanding foam over the back of it and then a sheet of plastic and tape the sheet of plastic around it so it has some stiffness to it. I know that's not the right way of doing it, but that's about all I can do because I'm not gonna keep wasting resin on it. I'm not that good at doing this fiberglass stuff yet, so as long as I can get one part out of it, I'll be happy. And as you can see, the hood's fine. Got to degrease the shit out of it. And Tommy Shoe, got to get a hold of you yet. And we got speakers. And you ain't gonna be able to tell because uh, this microphone ain't gonna pick shit up. But it does sound really, really good, even with it running. Oh, I better not do that. YouTube will get mad. But speakers are in. The amp. Is hidden behind here on top of the actual CD player that comes through. He replaced his front speakers that go in there and then he painted these gloss black, the grill. Um, yeah, I don't know. You can see there's some imperfections like right in here. But you know what? There's going to be body work to do when I mold this into my hood, anyway. So. I'm not that worried about it. I'm not going to be mass producing parts, so it doesn't need to be 100% perfect, but it'll work. Um, Gaster's Glass, I really appreciate the advice that you give me. And like I said before, this is not your fault. It's uh, personal error on my, on my part. But the hood was all right. It actually popped off a lot easier than I thought it was going to. I got air underneath all of it. The only thing that was stuck was the... I don't know, nostrils, or whatever you want to call them. And I just wiggled the hood around a little bit, heard it popping, and off it came. Flipped it over, cut it down, and I don't know if I'm going to get expanded foam on it this weekend or what, but leaving again Monday for Sioux City, Iowa. Shithole. Um, yeah, I don't know. So that's what we got burning. We're going to do a little buffing on his bike, get it all shined up, and... I don't know if we're going to pull the motor out of my cutlass today or um, work on his Dodge Neon. So that's where I'm at right now, fellas, boys and girls. Yep. Turned out really good. When I flipped it over, I about shit myself because it actually looked pretty good. Um, and gas with glass, I don't know. Maybe I didn't get the gel coat on thick enough or something. But you can still see sand scratches. And I don't know if that's normal. Imagine... It's supposed to be smooth as glass, but whatever. It, it'll be good enough for one part, so that's all I need. And I'm not even going to touch it until I order some them little tiny rollers so I can get up in the bar. So anything else we do today, I'll show you. Other than that, adios.